of the debate, uh, first we're going to go around and meet our candidates. So first we have Daisy Lewis. Daisy, could you tell us just a little bit about you, uh, introduce yourself, say what kind of extracurriculars you're into, and where you hang out at lunchtime. Hi, I'm Daisy Lewis. I'm a junior in HISP. Um, I am in ASB. I've been in ASB since freshman year. Um, I have, well, okay, so where I hang out at lunch, I have a club every day. So ever since I came here freshman year, I remember Club Rush. All I wanted to do was join every single club and meet every single person. So I still do that. I have um, on Monday, I'm in CSF, Tuesday, Eco Club, Wednesday, I actually started my own club, French Club. Um, Thursday, I, I go to the garden, I work in the garden. Um, and on Fridays, I'm in either Fashion Club, UNICEF, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, so I love meeting new people and just being involved in the school. Um, I'm also on the tennis team and I play every day still. Um, and yeah, I'm also in for this program called 4-H on the Wild Side, which um, is along with Meredith where we teach um, students from 4th through 6th grader science. And we stay overnight, it's like slide park kind of. Um, and then I'm also in the California Association of Student Councils, where we basically talk to ASBs like this, um, and we teach them better ways, ways to better their ASB and make it more effective. Great. So I'm Meredith Brown. Hi guys, I'm Meredith Brown. So I'm a junior at McClatchy. I think the question was kind of like about like what clubs yeah. you are in, like what you like to do. Um, so I'm in a few clubs here, as Daisy said, like when I walked into Club Rush freshman year, I joined way too many clubs and I've kind of cut like down um, for this year. So I started my own club, Awareness League, which meets every day, um, I mean, which meets every Tuesday, um, where we like to talk. It's an open forum for students to just talk about like issues that they think are important, whether they're like international issues and such. Um, I'm also in CSF. Uh, I'm in a lot of different clubs like UNICEF, German club, and stuff. But um, personal qualities, what was it, the question? That's the next question. That's the next question. Right. So now but for the, the real guess. substantive questions. Um, what makes you, we'll start with you Daisy, what makes you the most qualified candidate for this position? This could be your qualities in ASB, personal qualities, whatever you'd like it to be. Um, so, when I think of a leader, I think of someone that is able to um, work with other people and be open-minded. Um, so I definitely, I have actually talked to people about what changes they like to see in the school. And so I think a leader is to be open-minded, um, diplomatic, so able to listen to whatever their peers have to say without um, bias or anything and I definitely am always open to something that goes hand in hand with open mindedness. I'm always open minded and will hear what anyone has to say. Um, I also think accountable, it being the ability to be accountable is a huge factor and um, doing so many extracurriculars you have to be able to, uh, you have to be able to uh, stick with what you do and make sure it gets, it gets done basically. Um, and then working under pressure, I think I'm pretty, pretty good at that because with a lot of my plate, like I said, I have the ability to just manage and, yeah, prioritize. All right, thank you. Meredith. Okay, so you said qualities that, qual I mean, what makes me qualified for the position? Okay. So I'm very determined in school work as well as just helping out the community. I, very hardworking. I'm very passionate about every student at this school. Um, I don't really like to back down from a fight that I believe is worth fighting for. And I care about each and every one of your point of view. So like Daisy said, I am open to anybody's ideas that they want to change, like something at the school. It's always something that I would want to hear and I would also like to help them to affect change at this school. Um, I just have like a lot of different clubs that I'm in. I also do a lot for ASB. So right now I'm the uh, head of the junior prom committee. We just got a DJ and stuff. It's not really important. But um, I also do a lot of fundraisers for ASB, such as 
Um, the juniors are right now selling um, cookie dough tubs. Um, so you guys should go to a junior and ask to, to buy cookie dough. But I also do like a lot of things in ASB to help form a community of ASB as well as like do more fundraisers and get more students involved. So I do think I am more qualified for this position because I really do work hard and I do like to listen to everybody's opinion and I really am here to help for everybody. Thank you. All right, great. So our next question is, um, you know, as leaders of the Associated Student Body class, what is your vision, Daisy, for improving ASB? So I think that sorry, a strong ASB is what makes a strong school. So um, I've been hearing a lot of things in ASB that people have wanted, been wanting to change. Um, and I, I think that we should start by timing our discussions in ASB. So when um, we have an order of business, if we can have a clock to make our meetings more efficient, we have a set list of what we're going to talk about and for how long we're going to talk about it. Um, and actually that's what we're taught in the California Association of Student Councils is how to plan things too. And so if we get things head on and early, we'll be able to make it more, um, yeah, just efficient in the class. Um, and then I think we need to have a better way of like pu publicizing our information because half the time even the people in ASB don't even know what's going on. So I think if we don't know what's going on, how do we expect the school to know? Um, so I think that the, a strong board is what accounts for the, um, yeah, the knowledge of the whole class. Um, and then I think there's a kind of a lack of motivation in the class. It seems like oh, it's all the same people doing the same things. And so I think that if we have bring in speakers or just find ways to motivate the class more, that will tell, it will be more effective. Excellent. How about you, Nader? Okay, so I have some similar ideas with ASB. I do think that we need to have a more organized meeting and such. So we have a lot of committees in ASB, if you don't already know. I would like to have like a set list of the committees, who's in the committees, and have the committee itself appoint their own heads. Um, I'd also like to have a set like summary of what the committee is supposed to be doing, because we do have a lot of committees that are confused on what their objective is. Um, raising awareness is one of our largest problems too because a lot of people even when they saw some of my signs in the hallway were like oh what is ASB so that right there is an issue I would like to raise awareness about the class because a lot of students here feel like they don't have a voice that is heard so I'd like to advertise the class so that people can enroll in it next year and I'd also like to advertise open forums more for students where they can come in and talk about their issues so I really would like to have like more of a, a culture where the students are listened to. So one of my, um, if I was elected, I would have like an open forum maybe once a week or once every two weeks where either the ASB class period or maybe a lunch period would be set aside where students can come to the board and to the class about issues that they have about the school. Um, you don't have to be in the class to be in those forums and you don't necessarily not have to be in the class. So it's just an open forum for students to actually like, have their voice heard and have ASB back them with what they want to change. All right, so now real hard hitting policy stuff. We're gonna start with Meredith this time. Uh, as president, what existing school policy uh, would you lobby to change or do you have an idea for a new policy that you've pushed up implement? So I do know that a lot of students have issues with the student parking lot, such as either they want to move it, um, switch it with the teacher parking lot, with the student parking lot. That's not necessarily the route I would like to take. I would rather take um, a route where we could somehow make it easier for students to get maybe a parking pass, because I know a lot of students do have cars and they aren't able to park close enough to school, or they have to park on Lamb Park. I know that it will be like a little difficult, but I do know that in ASB there are some students that are already dedicated to making this happen. So I would like to help like push that farther along with some of the other policies that we're looking at. Great, how about you, Daisy? Um, so throughout the year I've been asking people what changes they would like to be seeing made in the school. Um, so I've heard a lot on cleanliness of the school, and I think that AA, I, have plans that in ASB we can 
um, take time in the month to clean the school ourselves because if we don't make the change, no one will. Um, people have talked about uh, accessibility to um, like information, and so I think that I would definitely like have the you like make it more poster boards, but we're already doing that in ASB right now. Um, and as a personal goal, um, raising environmental awareness at this school is yeah, it's a strong, it's a big passion of mine. Um, so I've been talking to the cafeteria about composting, um, using the garden that I, that we're running um, in our favor with that, um, eliminating food waste, and um, making more. Adding more places to recycle in the classroom. I mean, in the schools. Sorry. Okay, cool. So, being the ASB president is as much, I think, about being kind of the heart and soul of the school as it is about being a leader, making decisions. So, Meredith, um, how would you improve school culture at McClatchy? So, one of the points that Daisy talked about was cleanliness of the school. So, I would really like to have more advertisement, such as like posters and stuff, too, and do something with ASB as well. Um, I would love to have more spirit. I do go to most of the games that I can, but I understand like some students have work and they can't go. But I would like more spirit because not even for like basketball games or soccer games, but even to show up to a VAPA account, I mean a VAPA like event or to an LPPA event. I feel like there are a lot of events that aren't really shown at our school that are probably amazing opportunities for our students to come and support other students. So I'd really like to advertise more events for more school spirit to create more of a community throughout all of McClatchy instead of just having like all of us come to just basketball games or to soccer games. I'd like us to all come together like HIST can partner up with LPPA and VAPA and just general education where we don't feel so segregated, where we feel more inclusive and we just all come together as one community at those events. Excellent. Okay, school culture, what you got, Daisy? Um, so school culture, so ASB really is where we create school culture. So I think to create a better culture in the school, it starts here and that means creating um, a better sense of community in the class, like Meredith said, and then um, make increasing diversity. So I think there's a stigma that goes with ASB that either we don't do anything or we're just all from the same, we're all in HISP, and um, it kind of turns people away from ASB, and I think that we need to, people need to realize that it's more about, yeah, anyone can join ASB, and it, we're looking for no, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from as long as you're passionate about the school and you have a love for the school and to make change, and I would love to make change together, and I think that, yes, it starts in a diverse community in ASB to create a diverse and efficient culture in the school. All right, cool. Now we uh, have a guest question from our current president, if you guys don't mind. So listening to your answers, these are all great answers, and, you know, things that McClatchy definitely need, but in some of the policy, you know, in, uh, in enacting them is where I see struggle. So I have a question for both of you. For Meredith, you uh, talked about the parking, student parking, and that's been an issue for as long as I've been here, for probably for decades before. Um, are you aware of current efforts or, the, or like a current plan that would be viable to do that? So I know that there are some students in ASB that have already started, I believe, like Dylan is one of them. We also are, planning to bring it up in our shared decision meetings as well since like since I've gone to some shared decision meetings sometimes we get um, the students don't get to talk as much because the earlier talks are a little too much about the teachers but we'd like to partner with Douglas about it too so Douglas is the one that moderates the shared decision meetings so we have talked to him a little bit about the student parking lot and getting more um, passes but we would have to talk about like getting them from the city as well as talking to um, the neighbors around our campus just because I know that sometimes they get a little upset with parking. But we have already started to take baby steps because all we can do now is take baby steps. All right, Daisy, uh, you talked about community, I believe, between uh, ASB and HISB and all the other uh, academies within uh, the school. How, what is uh, one possible idea that you would have to, you know, kind of a feeling of uh, community between those? Um, well, for one, 
talking to counselors about making ASB more public to um, people that are not in HISP or that already don't know about it. Because like Meredith said, people don't even know what ASB is. Um, that's partly due to just like the, the faculty when we're choosing our classes. It's never suggested. You have to like ask for it or talk to your counselor. And so I think that that create, yeah, just letting people know, like it can be as simple, yeah, for us, as simple as going around and just talking to people. Like that's what I've been doing throughout the campaign is just talking to people, asking what changes they like to make, and even like telling my classes like join ASB because if you're anyone can make a change, and I think that that's what we need to everyone should realize. They all have the opportunity. Excellent job, you two. A round of applause for. Kevin.